Jasmine and Lake get married back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Now, who was your first kid? Bill. Bill. My grandpa. Yeah. Now, Tris and Nick. Yeah. Who's after that? Dutch and Leroy. Mm -hmm. And then Fred. Yeah. Me. A.G. Sis. Sonny. Buddy. Pat. What 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 did you do when Sis came along? Girl. Did you think it's a wrong one? I thought it was a wrong <laughs> I can imagine so. Did her big brother still care her? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they And so she had a lot of hair. And this one of our neighbors, they had a baby over a year old, and it didn't have a bit of hair, you know. His head just slipped his mouth. And this year little boy, he had to come in to see sis. She was born that night. He come in the next day to see her. He said, God damn, so didn't you grow hair a tree? So I don't know what that damn baby over your old and ain't got a damn damn bit Great, 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 great. Well, my goodness. 
And then I've got two more, and I don't know their names. I know their name is uh, Baker, but I, that's all I know. I don't know the rest. You haven't got to see it. Uh, you haven't got to see it. I didn't know I had them for the other day when Connie called me. That's a surprise. Yeah. Oh. Well, I imagine you'd populate the earth cell, huh? Uh, <laughs> populate the whole state of Oklahoma with your family. Uh, yeah. I told wish to have a family reunion. It'd take five acres of ground for all their feet. That's <laughs> <laughs> the sad part. Right. Ashford, she'd ever been to Little Rock. Oh yes, I've been to Little Rock. What's a Little Rock? He was in the insane asylum down there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after he got bad, he said, the secretary said, well, he said that a year ago today, I left Little Rock. And I hope I never see him again. Or Big Rock. So he won't get your bad. <laughs> And the uh, first time I was ever there, we stopped there and we had this old, thing, an old Pontiac car. And just dying cars for it. Nineteen inch tires, Jim Vancure and all. I was punching the money and Jim was buying the car. <laughs> then he'd come having the drunk all up and down his neck and on his shoulders. And he put one up and on there. And when we start the car up and start the road, that recap just stretched down. Made that. <laughs> 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 mm. Well, then. what else can we talk about? You see, I had a little old boy down there in, on the grand jury. And they squeezed him and asked him if he ever seen a wildcat still. He said, No. He said, All I ever seen was one. They had wildcats down there. <laughs> Didn't end up, no problem. <laughs> 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 I'll ask her about Grandpa when he came from. Yeah, where, where did Grandpa come from? Oh, my, my grandpa was in the Civil War, oh, and his original God. home was Arkansas. Really? Mm -hmm. How about, about who she married? He's talking about Daddy, Mom. Oh, Daddy? Well, he's from Boone County, Arkansas, too. Boone County? Yeah. How did you go about meeting him? Oh, I guess him. I don't know. I don't know that far back. Well, you know, Daddy was in the Civil War, and he was in the Civil War. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Daddy was in the Civil War, and he was in the Civil War. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Daddy was in the Civil War, and he was in the Civil War. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Daddy was in the Civil War, and he was in the Civil War. Which is just a county apart. But back in them days, it's seven or eight hundred miles. Did you ever have county fairs? No. No county fairs in the river there? Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Play snap at school. <laughs> Drop the handkerchief. Dare base, steel wood. <laughs> steel wood? Yeah, we'd have wood. Each one have a pile of wood, like a ball team, you know. Uh -huh. We'd have wood, and this other team go and slip and steal a stick, and here it go. <laughs> yeah. You don't have modern back in modern school rooms? No. You have no modern we went to the Did you have air conditioning? No. We no bathrooms? No. no. <laughs> we went to the Cedars. The Cedars? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the old school said on the Slate Hill, and there's cedar trees all around that school of that. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's, that was bathroom. Mm -hmm. The boys had the cedar trees, and the girls had the cedar trees. <laughs> <laughs> and the same way there at Woods Mountain, we, they took the a bluff. The schoolhouse sat right between the bluff. There's the road and the schoolhouse, and then there's a bluff. One on that side, one on this side. Over here on the south side was the girls. Restroom and over here was the boys. Well, these boys was down there and they was building a rock fence around the fence and they're placed in. And this little boy got rattlesnake in right here on between these two toes. And they carried him up there to the house and he was as white as a ghost. And just two drops of blood oozed out there. And they carried him over to the neighbor's house and went and got the doctor and his mother and daddy. He lived, but he was out of school for a long time. Well, I imagine so. Three or four weeks. Nearly half the school was gone. Mm. <coughs> One time, me and Bill, we had some hogs to see. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have nothing but an old donkey and a two wheel car. Well, we was taking in pigs 18 miles to camp. And we had to travel at night because it was so hot. 
I walked and carried Dean on my back, and Bill rode up there on that little old cart with him hogs. And got to the railroad track. What happened to you? We couldn't get him over what that railroad. Bill? Yes. <laughs> They tried to push him over and we'd get him nearly up there and down to go to them front feet. <laughs> well, we'd take him loose and drove off the road to take him loose and tied him up. Went on up to the pieces of the bite and the hogs. And I was walking up this hill. I'd walked all night and I was walking up this hill. And he said, stopped. He said, do you want to ride? I said, I sure do, and you're the guy I'm looking for. <laughs> There's one that's buying the hall. Are you so really? Yeah. <laughs> so I went on up to the house with him, had some coffee, and then we went back down there. Well, I was going to buy that in groceries. I got $15 out of them three big old hogs. That's about like this. $15. Mm -hmm. Well, I went in the grocery store and asked them if they'd deliver my groceries out to the railroad track, which was a mile out of town. And he said, yes. Well, I told him what kind of a rig I had before I got out there. I knew if I didn't, I got out there and he made fun of me, I might give him a falling out. Might say something I wouldn't want to say. And Bill, he just got all over me. What'd you tell him what kind of a rig we had for? I said, well, son, I better tell him, let him know, so he'd be expecting what he's going to find when he got there. <laughs> I said, if he didn't, why? Well, then he went to laughing. Well, I might have cussed him out. And I might have got in trouble. <laughs> and that's right. That's, that's the way I looked at it. You always gain by telling the truth. Well, of course. <laughs> we was going back home then, so you let time go past the house, lay right down in the middle of the road. <laughs> Just lay there. I'm <laughs> And Bill, he gave him a pole and he bit on, beat on his old tailbone like that. He had to stab that pick on his <laughs> tailbone. <laughs> so how old was Paul then? He was about, he was about 14, 15. Mm -hmm. I'd always take him with me and the baby and leave that. The others were Dutch. Mm -hmm. So we traveled all night that night and I built a car. Stopped on this Willis Hill Mountain, and I built me up a car, and I sat there, and I was about to go to sleep, and I nodded. I said, well, let's travel on. First, though, we laid down the rest. I got me a rock, and I put it down there and laid my head on it, and I was about to go to sleep. The other said, Mom, Mommy, I hear somebody talking. Back there in the mountains and in the woods, you know, I said, well, let him talk. I didn't care. <laughs> I was talking. He's riding. I was walking kind of big, and I was leg weary. <laughs> so we got up and went on. He wouldn't let me sleep. We got up and went on. And then we built up this bar and like went to sleep. And then when we got to the railroad track, couldn't push him on over it. Oh, he's a mess. <laughs> Snap cemetery. Yeah, and one time, another time was uh, making stage boats. And we're skidding them up this bank just like that, just straight up. Well, that little old donkey, he didn't weigh very much. And I said, son, you better just hook him on one on to him, pull him up that bank. We had to skid him up that bank and get him out where the truck could get to him on the road. Yeah. I said, you better just put one. Oh, I'm going to put two. And he put two on there, and he'd always cry. And he'd get mad by he'd cry. I said, now, Scott, don't come as to cry. <laughs> that was one of our neighbor men. If he had uh, anything went wrong, well, he'd cry like a baby. <laughs> Scott warned. I said, now, Scott, don't come in to cry. <laughs> I said, I told you just one at a time. And, you know, we, that, he started up with them, too. I mean, we just tried to complete something. That person don't want to run this and all. He's just so honest. He said, and I carried them boats up there. And the next day, I was so sore, I couldn't get out of my head. <laughs> Talk about some time we had. And there's always me and Bill, because he's the oldest, and he's one I always take with me. And we started, got this little boat, and we started to town with him. Now I had to go because I had to go right to the yard to collect my money, you know. They'd always measure them. And we got to the state yard. Got down there, had one of these here wagon tongues with a frame pole in there. The tongue wouldn't go up down the wagon tongue, you know. Mm -hmm. Stood out straight like that. 
had them stage stacked there. There's 80 in the stack. Ram stacked up there. What is the stage boat, Mom? Like they make these uh, wooden barrels out of it. Oh. Like these 60 gallon barrels. Uh -huh. you used to get salt and stuff like that in barrels, you know, instead of bags. And I was standing there and this year guy said, Whoop, 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 you better look out. Well, I jumped that wagon tongue. That's the stack of stage was falling right off of me. <laughs> <laughs> determined to get me, but I survived. <laughs> well, mercy. Martin, what's the most surprising thing you've seen in your life? Yeah, that, that's, that's a good question. What's the most surprising thing you've seen? Well, the first dollar. I just wouldn't hardly know. One time I really got scared and suddenly said, Pow's <laughs> fault. <laughs> and then just before. Buddy was born, and they was all in the field. And he got, had some coats hanging up the side of the door, and I seen him climb up there and get a match, get the match box. And uh, he went on that. Never thought no more about it. And I sat and I had supper already for him. I just had to cook when I felt like it. And I sat in there and I seen this smoke just scores in the side of the door. <laughs> I got up and I went in there and I grabbed them coats and I threw them out the door and uh, put the kids to drawing water out of the way. Mm -hmm. They brought this water and I got me a bucket and a dipper. And this bedroom was far and then it had lapped over into the living room of the door. Me and it standing in there, one old guy, he's a shoe cobbler, and they chew. He's standing in there and he said, Miss Van Curen, are they hold to get up and at it? I said, I don't know. I said, if they ain't out, if I need one, I'll make one. <laughs> I, I just take that dip and dash that water on that like that. And the other man standing there, he said, that beats any damn thing I've seen. They wasn't trying to help do nothing. They just watching? Just watch. Well, did it burn down? No, I got it out. With the dipper? With a dipper of water. <laughs> and another time, Grace, she said, the Marty old Sam Jones said the house is far. Yeah. I got up on the sun one night, up in the water, and put that dipper. Just take my time, dash it in there, and put it out. Put it out. My goodness. So. Well, where you live when you're growing up, were there many black people? No, I never seen a colored guy when I was 14 years old. What did you say? When you first saw I told him the first time I ever seen him, I said, if I ever do, get to go to town and see a nigger. I said, uh, he'll come down here. I had never got to go to town. Just to come to stores, all I'd have been to. Mm -hmm. Never got a soda pop, never seen a soda pop until I was 16 years old. And then, so one day he was there, and this year a colored guy come up on the bobtail mule, riding the bobtail mule. <laughs> <coughs> Here's the people from Clarksville, the big guys is up there fishing, and they had this nigger cook. And they said, there's a, somebody on that view that old Lee May's cook up there where they're fishing. So I'd stand in the house and peep around the door. He said something bit him last night over the eyes, and they all swelled up. And he had on the reddish socks, I could see them that night. <laughs> now, I have dreamed of colored people. It'd be a dream to go into the bathroom, outside bathroom, and niggers spring up out of the room. I've never seen one. <laughs> but I've seen enough of them seeing. <laughs> so, you were 16? How, how old were you when you first saw this Negro? I was about 15. About 1915. Yeah. I guess when, so. When's the first president here? They do much voting around there? No, they didn't do too much. Had, uh, I guess, about the first one I remember was uh, Woodrow Wilson. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a favorite one? No, not really. Oh, I just too, I could name all of them. Oh, yeah. And tell me what time they went in and when they went in and out. Uh, Roosevelt was your favorite one. Yeah, he kept us from starving. Roosevelt? Yeah. What do you think of Ronald Reagan? He's smart. 
Let it not be too small. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, when's the first time? You, um, did you have to tell these when they first came out? Oh, no. Never had nothing but a, of these old prank telephones. Finally, after I got the one, the best telephone. When they hung on the wall, and you dial that old yeah. two dongs and a short. <laughs> two dongs and a short was our phone now. <laughs> You've been on airplane? Yes, I flew from California, Bakersfield, uh, yeah, Bakersfield, California. What you what you think of that? Is that what you imagined? Well, I always said the only way they ever get me on the plane is to blindfold me and back down. <laughs> but I got on that plane that morning. I didn't know what to think about it. Wasn't afraid or nothing. I told Doug when he left us, I said, Well, one thing about it, if we go down, we won't go down by ourselves. We could be a string of people that could get on ahead of us, you know. I said, Doug just standing there looking long faced. He could just go so far with us, you know. Yeah. He's standing there watching us, and I said, Well, one thing about it, if we go down, we won't go down by ourselves. <laughs> well, I think it's about 300 got on that front. We got to L.A. then, and that got me worse than riding a plane. I took this cab over to the next <laughs> airport, and we was up here on the shelf, like. Down here was another shelf, and down there was another shelf. You mean streets? Yeah, streets, but it just looked like shelves. <laughs> I'm at the thing, well, I'm just reading the rock. It was going fast around there. I got so dizzy, I couldn't say that hard. <laughs> okay. From the audience again, we have. No, is there one thing that you have never done that you would like to do? I'd like to have a million dollars. They piled up in front of me and I say, here's yours, here's yours, here's yours, here's yours. <laughs> That's all I want, money. If somebody that... What would you buy? What would you buy a thing for yourself? I doubt it. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I might get me a different car. <laughs> How much you said you was going to buy with your first old age pension? I said the first old age pension I got, I was going to buy me a barrel of snow. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get what that was. May have been a young man. Uh, <laughs> May have been a young man. No. Yeah, I used snuff. Used to you'd get a box of snuff for a dime, and I'd get a box of wheat. And I got grandma to add about that. I said, uh, out of my first old age pension check, I'm going to buy me a barrel. Did you? No. I went over there to in California. They didn't have it on in boxes. Used to, you'd get a box or three for a dime or three for a quarter. Now, one of them little old boxes, not near that big, about like that, a dollar and 13 cents. No, I buy Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then we get that. And Laura's first wife, I went to her house, she used snuff and he wouldn't, and her, she was about to leave her. And she'd know when she'd see me coming, I'd have one or the other. Just take her to see seeing me coming. <laughs> I had to back her while she took that cook, I'd always give her a bite. She'd take that cook and she'd chew it to swim to eat, and she'd let it up. And she'd eat it, and she'd get her cook again. She chewed that and she knows it's good. She done tried it. Mmm. <laughs> uh, we used to have to grow that tobacco in fields of it. Well, the old tobacco worms, I guess. <laughs> well, we have you here. We just got back. Let's get out there and suck with that old tobacco and get that old gum and nicotine all over your hands. <coughs> there wasn't no kind of soap to take it off. All you could do is get you a kerosene. Pour in your hand and wash your hands and that cures it. And that would take it off. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way. And get them old big worms or horns that wrong. Okay. Yeah. Leeches? 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 No, the big old green worms like that. Tobacco worms. Tobacco, Tobacco worms. worms. And have two horns sticking <laughs> Oh, howdy. 
So you, you farm your own tobacco? Yeah, we grow our own tobacco. Would you sell it or just for your oh, own just use? Just for our own use. We didn't ever sell it. <laughs> Oh, we couldn't spare enough. Do you ever have any moonshine stills up there? Oh, yes. Do you ever run any? Yeah. <laughs> One time. One time. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do any bootlegging or anything like that? No. No, I didn't bootleg. <laughs> well, who's this royal you're talking about? Oh, that's my last old man. <laughs> I ain't hunting there enough. <laughs> Well, I went a lot of places and seen a lot of things. I wouldn't have seen if I hadn't married just for him, I guess. <laughs> I'm a true kind of love. Can you hear me? <laughs> 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 Before you were married? <laughs> yeah, we went down to Dayton, Texas. Or Denison, I forget which was. Down there, but the cold was getting him. Yeah. Well, we went down there. His daughter lived down there. And we taking his two grandkids down there for the summer. And we went through this tunnel of love, of love. They called it, we went under part of the ocean. And over there was the islands, you know, big hotels. Oh, but four of them higher than this. Uh -huh. That had that way in kind of flood. Go under that by dock, it's all lit up. Under this part of the ocean that we went under. And it all lit up, but you'd have to fly out or anything where you wouldn't let it stop that you want. Was that when you decided to marry when you went through that tunnel road? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. We come back and stop to Shawnee and got married. She's so excited he lost his hat. <laughs> he left it.